Tejas says, why is Kalhana's Raja Tarangini discredited by scholars? In case some of us don't know, the Raja Tarangini is, an, is a poem. It's a historical poem written by the Kashmiri historian Kalhana. It's about the record of, of the history of Kashmir. Okay, it's about the history of Kashmir. Uh, but it's obviously, if it's the history of Kashmir, it's the history of India. So let's take a look at what the print has to say about Kalhana and the Raja Tarangini. So this is what the print, the print have to say. Does the Raja Tarangini narrative of 5,000 years of Hindu history in Kashmir need challenging? Why does it need challenging? So let's say, so this is the responses by various people. This is by Khalid Bashir Ahmad. According to Khalid Bashir Ahmad, he says that uh, Kashmir is known to have to have in, the, in an uninterrupted history of five millennia for the Raj Tarangini. His narrative is strikingly precise to a couple of centuries prior to his own time, but incredibly fictional for the first 3,000 years. So Mr. Khalid Bashid Ahmad is saying that uh, India's history for, of the first 1,000 years of the Raj Tarangini is incredibly fictional. It's a description of persons and events untraceable in other sources. The uh, author himself alludes to using his mind's eye in composing his work while trashing all the other 11 sources of history for misplaced learning. So this gentleman, Khalid Bashir Ahmad, says that this is all fiction. Rahul Pandita says that the truth is on our side in the form of the Sun Temple. So Rahul Pandita says that this the history has, the Kalhana Rajatarangini history has to be trusted because it is fact. Chual. Rajneesh Shukla says Kalana's Raj Tarangini is an unbiased, clear historical writing without any pressure from the kings. Uh, K. N. Pandita, former director for the Central of Center, Center for Central Asian Studies, University of Kashmir, says, uh, yeah, Buddhism and Hinduism were never at loggerheads in Kashmir. Noor Ahmad Baba, professor of political science, Kashmir University, says that the Raj Tarangini is an exclusivist vision of Kashmir's history. It's being used to suit a certain hegemonic account of the past. So, so what you see is that certain people want to portray the Raj Tarangini as hegemonic and fictional. But overall, <laughs> you see that it's one of the most uh, expansive accounts of ancient Indian history. So the scholars, the, the it's a few scholars with a certain ideological mindset, typically a leftist mindset. They are the ones who seek to discredit the Raj Tarangini. They say there is no evidence for what is being claimed in the Raj Tarangini. Well, the evidence was all been destroyed. There would have been copious amounts of supporting evidence, which you would have found in the great libraries of the ancient Indian universities. But all these universities were destroyed and the libraries burned about a thousand years ago by the invading Turks. So nothing of that is left. So somehow the Raj Tarangini has survived, but because we don't have any supporting literary evidence, so it is being discredited as being fiction. So my opinion is that this is all a proper historical account and it's a, it's an incredibly valuable historical account of the past 5000 years of indian history and kashmiri history so certain people will keep on trying to discredit discredit everything good so if you look at the uh, raj tarangini it, it talks about uh, essentially it begins from the mahabharat era and it gives entire lists of lineages of kings and dynasties that you will not find anywhere else because everything else has been destroyed. So it's an incredibly valuable source of information of the various kings and dynasties and rulers and queens that ruled and administered and enriched India in the past. The invaders tried to destroy all this information so that they can portray India as, a, as, a, as an ahistorical and pathetic place. But because the Raj Tarangini has survived, that narrative has been, uh, well, it's not quite succeeded. So they are trying to now discredit the Raj Tarangini and discredit Kalhana himself. Let us not get swayed by this propaganda.